A YouTuber named AG is playing with her phone on the floor, when her CCTV system records a bizarre and possibly paranormal display behind her. The strangely shaped phantom consists of little more than two arms and a head. The face is simply a single eye in the middle, almost like it's looking at her from the side. The video itself looks a little pixelated, so I guess this could be special effects, or maybe even the brief reflection of something against the wall, though of what I cannot say. Stranger still is how, out of everywhere else in the room, it appears directly behind her, almost like it's self-aware and choosing to do so. A connect motion sensor allows viewers to gain a visual of the energy fields all around us. Published to the r slash chills narrator subreddit by Purgatory Adventures, this scary video uses the motion sensor to capture a figure that's invisible to the human eye. While investigating a haunted house, one of the crew calls out an alarm from downstairs Stairs, something has appeared on the Kinect monitor. A figure can be seen sitting in a nearby chair, close to the spirit box. The man says the figure is freaking out. The other crew member enters the frame to sit beside the spirit. As the man goes to sit down, the spirit disappears. The man notes that he felt a cold spot in the area. Did the ghost move out of the way so that the living could have his seat? This is a game of musical chairs I don't want to play. Don't you hate it when an unwanted guest shows up to the party. Featured by the bottom line, this scary video has been trending in the Hindi-speaking YouTube community. Originally published by Mysteria Danaya, the video shows a gathering of people inside a home. Everyone is sitting around the room enjoying each other's company. But as the camera pans around, an uninvited guest appears, and he's too creepy for words. Watch closely. What is this mysterious figure lurking in the window? With its gaunt, elongated features and bulging eyes, it looks like a cross between a terrifying ghoul and an extraterrestrial. What is this ghoulish guest? I'm not sure. But either way, don't let him in. This cathedral is a scare fest. Published by Ricky Velasquez in October of 2021, this paranormal investigator live-streamed his exploration of a haunted cathedral. Upon entering, he sees this mysterious image on the wall. It looks like a man passed out in pain being held up by another man. Even stranger, it appears as though it's illuminated, like a projection. Later, while outside, something is captured moving in the darkness. It's unclear if there's something actually there or if there's a glitch in the video quality. Something's going on at this cathedral, and I'm sure it's not anything holy. This person's haunted home comes to life when he's not looking. Posted by our haunted house, the TikToker says he recorded himself watching TV for over an hour. This is what happened. The man is seen laying on the couch in his dark living room. After a while, the bedroom door slowly opens by itself in the background. Then two bright red eyes appear in the doorway. The eyes stare for a moment before flashing downward and out of sight. Next, you see a strange shadow appear briefly behind the couch. Then the door behind him slams shut. Well, it looks like we won't be catching the red eye tonight. This old man may have passed on, but his spirit remains. Published by Zero One Supernatural Studio in December of 2021, this ghost hunter says that locals claim that the ghost at this creepy house refuses to leave. Let's see why. As he stands outside the stoop, the ghost hunter's EMF meter goes crazy, and it continues to go off as he gets closer. It also jumps when he comes to a room that looks like a store storage room, and then again when he enters. When he attempts to communicate using a spirit box, he hears something behind him.
Is someone here? Or is this old man ghost trying to kick him off of his property? This short clip is Nightmare Fuel. Published by SNCH in May of 2015, a man enters what looks like a storage room in his home and is distracted because his camera screen is completely black. He walks into the room and in the background, a strange growling is heard. But it's not clear if the source is audio from off screen or something as of yet unseen in the room. As the man walks toward the window, half of a white mask-like face is seen in one of the upper panes. It stands there for a moment, looking in before it turns around and disappears. Delta F1 sums it up best in the comments writing, I'm terrified but I also want more. I have a bad feeling this ghost isn't friendly. A live investigation at Serpentine Cemetery captured something on camera that I cannot explain. Published by Ethereal Sisters Paranormal in January of 2022, these investigators encountered just what they were looking for. After speaking with the spirits through a spirit box, the women head toward the exit. That's when this blue-white figure appears to walk right through them. Is this one of the spirits the investigators were communicating with? If so, what is it trying to tell them? I definitely think this place is haunted. The following pair of videos were published by Real Ghosts on film in July of 2012, but filmed in May of the same year in the woods behind the cameraman's house. In the video, the cameraman is standing in the woods in an area where he had felt an energy. He'd seen a ghost girl there many times before but never caught her on film. Until now. Watch the tree to the left. A small, semi-transparent figure is seen prancing through the woods behind the tree, appearing on the other side of it before the camera shuts off. The second video shows an enhanced version. You can see the figure up close. Is this a true forest phantom? And where is she leading us? A mystery that's now 10 years in the making. Are mythical creatures real? This video may convince you. Posted by Paranormal Tube in August of 2015, a creepy creature was caught on camera in Argentina. As someone leaves the room and heads into the hallway, the camera holds there for a second upon his return and captures this strange creature stepping into view from around the corner. The miniature extraterrestrial-like figure limps somehow robotically. The tiny humanoid then raises one of his arms, while the cameraman's friend jumps forward to slam the door shut in the creature's face. What is this thing? A hairless gremlin? Whatever it is, I don't want it to come any closer. A group of co-workers are sitting in an office when the unexpected happens. Posted to TikTok by Paradolia Paranormal. The action in this video takes place in the background. As the office workers sit around in a circle talking, one woman gets up and walks toward a table in the corner of the room. That's because she sees something moving on the table on its own. The woman looks genuinely terrified as she turns around and presumably tells her co-workers what she saw. They all turn back to see the object still moving briefly. Is this the ghost of a worker who never left? Or is there some gym-like prankster in this office? The owners of this home reported a child-sized entity peeking at them from around corners and down hallways. They set up a camera to capture whatever it is they were seeing. Published by Short and Stout Guy in April of 2009, this is what they found. Watch the doorway at the end of the hall. At around 9 p.m., the video shows a dark figure leaning very slowly out from behind the pile of stuff gathered there. The face looks somewhat mask-like and peers down the hallway before just as slowly pulling back again. This must be the entity that the homeowners keep catching out of the corner of their eye. But what is it? Any guesses? As this time traveler come to raid the future's fridge, posted to TikTok by Dom the Ghost, you won't believe your eyes when watching this scary clip. The footage shows a kitchen where a man seemingly appears in a blaze of light, or maybe he's just opening the fridge. The figure moves toward the bar, where he stands for a moment, but then another blaze of light shines and he disappears. At the same time, another man enters the room, looking much 
more solid than his predecessor. Did this time traveler travel out of there just in time? Maybe he doesn't like to share food. When one door closes, another window opens. Published in July of 2020, this ghost is letting a draft in. While watching the security footage, pay attention to the window of the door. A woman opens the door and is talking to her dog who is outside. She goes to pick him up and when she does, the window of the door slowly rises open. Though she shuts the door, the window continues to open. You can see it opening from the side. When the woman notices, she goes to ask Mike if he opened the window of the door. Of course Mike didn't. A ghost did. Demonic entities were released after an experiment gone right, but I think a better description of the outcome is gone very wrong. Published by Toppy in January of 2022. Enter this video if you dare. In a series of clips, a door swings open with darkness beyond and an unnerving whisper is heard. <sighs> This short video certainly highlights how haunted this abandoned place is. I think I'd be getting the heck out of there ASAP. I guess this ghost hunting team has nerves of steel. This shadow moves like a bolt of lightning. Posted to TikTok by Oops Your It. A man is live streaming on video when something unusual happens in the background. The man is singing to his audience. Suddenly a stark shadow figure rushes past from behind him. The man singing doesn't speed or slow, but the figure shoots past like lightning. The mysterious figure also has no defining features. It is just one dark shadow. Is it a demon as someone suggested in the comments? If not, what could this be? While attempting to communicate with the beyond on a mission at San Juan Capistrano, this crew got more than they bargained for. Published by Ghosty Boys in December of 2016, a ghostly apparition made himself known in full force. As the guys are trying to communicate with the past on via an app, the ghost responds by coming to them. A smoky figure drifts into view in the darkness and then just as swiftly floats off into oblivion. Was this the San Juan ghost or just a breath of fresh air? This video was submitted to the r slash chills narrator subreddit by Lucky1196. It appears to show someone driving down a dark, decrepit road. The driver soon comes across a ghostly figure standing at the edge of a cliff. The apparition just stands there before fading into nothing. If I were this driver, I would be pretty freaked out seeing this. But not everyone is convinced that it's real. So what do you think? Is this a truly paranormal figure? Or just some clever editing? Some shadows will haunt you. Filmed by Dark Ghost Paranormal, this scary video captures a shadow figure's origin story. While a camera is posted up in this kitchen, a dark shadow figure materializes out of nowhere and grows bigger and bigger until it's a fully formed figure. It then moves toward the camera into the right, then out of frame. It almost looks like someone's shadow, but this is not the way that real human shadows appear. What is this figure and where did it come from? What would you do if this creature broke into your home? Published by the channel Real Scary in October of 2021, this video asks that very question. As a mysterious creature starts breaking through the shutters of a window, the creature with his glowing red eyes peers in through one of the broken shutters while breaking a lower shutter. He stands bent there looking in for a moment, but thankfully remains outside. Is this really one of those tiny human if it is, we'd better run. Many argue that ghosts have no reflection, but this one does. Published by Barack Dogen Paranormal in January of 2022, this scary video shows a man standing in a hallway filming. He turns around and sees his reflection in the mirror. When he turns around and looks back again, he sees a vague pale figure reflected to the side. Is this a ghost reflected? Or is this man not alone? A YouTube channel called BD Ghost Hunter sent me this video of a cursed village in their home country of Bangladesh. They don't explain how or why it became cursed. Nobody ever talks about that. All anyone says is that it was abandoned long ago and that the survivors had to move across water to get away. Everyone knows not to cross the bridge because strange and scary things are waiting on the other side. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Bismillahirrahmanirrahim But on this night, they want to find out what their elders won't tell them, and so they step forward. There's movement in the distance, the figure of a person in the shadows, not an animal. They approach the old building and see no one is on the roof. <laughs> the BD Ghost Hunter team bravely goes upstairs to investigate the paranormal activity, and that's when things get even more bizarre. Allah <laughs> Not even Google is able to translate what they are saying, so translate this next part if possible. <laughs> I'm almost positive someone is holding the chair, but no one is there when they round the corner and it's still propped up at a weird angle. Anyway, that's weird, but when they reach the balcony, where the windows first open, they find nothing wrong with them. That's when they feel the curse grow stronger and turn around. <laughs> They follow the footsteps up the roof and find a door that's deadbolt locked on their side, meaning no one could have passed through. <laughs> They open a rusted door and don't find much activity at first, but that all changes soon enough. <laughs> Allah, Allah. 
a ghost slams shut the door while they are examining the object. They dare not go any further into this village and leave knowing nothing more about the place other than the legends are real. Do you believe them? I might. Another momentous visual history caught on live TV. The powerful image of the toppling of the Saddam statue in Firdo Square was broadcast all over the world, signaling what the Bush administration hoped would appear to be the end of what he started. Mission accomplished. Only, their involvement went on until December 18th, 2011, so not quite accomplished at that point. The moment was one of the scariest and most powerful caught on live TV. Iraqi civilians, some of whom theorists believe were paid, and US troops came together to tackle the imperialistic statue, marking what was supposed to be a symbolic moment in the lives of many Iraqi citizens. On international TV, it looked to be a moment of spontaneity. As it turns out, it wasn't as it seemed. According to investigations on the matter, tight focus shots used by the media suggested that the square was packed. When it wasn't, most in the crowd were also not Iraqi, but rather, Marines and journalists. Moreover, the flag and sledgehammer were supplied by the US. The act was not as spontaneous as it was reported. The footage suggested that all of Baghdad was enthusiastic of the toppling of Saddam, but this suggestion was inaccurate. According to Peter Mass, a journalist who was at Firdo Square on the day, they were ready to latch onto a symbol of what they believed would be a joyous finale. It was an unfortunate fusion, a preconception of what would happen, of what victory would look like, connected at Firdo Square with an aesthetically perfect representation of that preconception. Despite the illusionary nature of this event, this scary and iconoclastic visual is one of the most impactful caught on live TV. Is this the world's angriest poltergeist? Published by Paranoiacs in December of 2021. When the crew arrives at this place in the mountains, they quickly discover they're not alone. They enter the building and hear more and more banging noises. When the camera turns toward the door, a pale face can be seen briefly peering around it. More banging erupts upstairs. And it sounds like things are being thrown down to prevent the crew from coming up. They head back outside and the banging continues. This has sent one of the crew into hysterical laughter. You. <laughs> then the door bursts open. Back inside, things are still being thrown around. They head back to the stairs and finally venture upstairs, despite the poltergeist not letting up. Back on the ground floor, a large iron pole is thrown. And what sounds like footsteps are heard above them. When they make it to the top, they probably wish that they hadn't. <laughs> After more torment from the poltergeist, something again peers around the corner. Is this what's causing all the mayhem? If so, the power coming from this small figure is terrifying. Luna Meow has a natural ability to communicate with the paranormal that she intends to explore to the fullest on her ghost hunting channel by the same name. You guys to turn on the flashlight that's next to me. Please. Do you think you can do that? How many of you were married when you... Okay. I don't like that. That's scary. At 17 seconds, she appears to feel a presence draw near, and when she looks over her shoulder a second time, the flashlight is on. It doesn't look like anyone is nearby, at least nobody who is alive. 
The object just turns on by itself like a ghost touches it. Turn the flashlight on. They aren't interested in answering any more questions and simply turn the flashlight off without further interaction. Maybe they just wanted to let Luna know that they were here watching. During a different investigation, Luna and some friends try to summon a spirit and it just might have worked. But perhaps the creepiest video of all comes from the Omen House in Beverly Hills, California. This is where a nefarious group gained access to a famous celebrity's home, and she did not last against them for long. Their paranormal equipment detects the motion of a spirit nearby, though it could be detecting the movement of this ghost hunter picking up the K2 meter at 5 seconds. Still, if you look very closely, the K2 meter detects a spike of paranormal energy at the same time the motion sensors go off. And shortly thereafter, this mysterious blue light sweeps across the room that they all swear was not a flashlight. I have my doubts about this, until one of the team bangs a shelf and jumps up and down to demonstrate that all of the items on this shelf are stable, but as soon as he walks away, this object falls over by itself, something which apparently happens all the time. I want to show them one more time, a final goodbye before they all leave, are you just going to keep doing this, they're going to jump. Oh! The same exact object falls over all by itself. On one hand, the same object moving twice could be a sign of a ghost manipulating objects at will. But on the other hand, maybe this toy is simply unbalanced and falls over on its own a lot. Still, the fact that it happens while he is walking away seems to suggest that this is the work of a ghost with selective intelligence who wants attention. If you ever find yourself in the middle of nowhere at night, beware who or what else might be out there with you. Published in January of 2020, Junked Up Kitten asserts that a ritual had occurred in his yard of 20 acres in the Pikes Peak Wilderness area of Colorado. In the video, the man says he just got home and his wife left almost immediately for her night shift. He was playing some games on his computer when his dog started freaking out. That's when he started to hear a weird whistling coming from outside, so he dons his boots and other winter gear before heading out to investigate the matter with his dog in the remote darkness. Already courageous in my opinion. He walks out into the snow under a full moon, checks on his hens in their hen house, and also walks through his storage sheds. That's when he hears his dog barking like crazy. Well, you got something? He sets out in search of his dog to see what's got him all riled up and comes across a strange sight. Chicken feet and a bone hanging from a tree by some orange twine. Off in the distance, he spots fire in the darkness, which he says looks like candlelight. Needless to say, this all freaks him out. He decides to investigate and starts walking towards the distant fire. Soon he comes across the ritualistic setting. Tarot cards are all laid out on the ground, surrounded by five votive candles, an unlit lantern, and a purple cloth bag. It seems that Ziggy, the dog, scared off whoever was out there. They left the place in a hurry, abandoning the ritual ceremony, tarot cards and all. So many questions remain. Who were these people? Why were they on the man's property in the first place? And what were they doing? Most importantly, what do the tarot cards read? Hopefully this man's property isn't now cursed. Kloss finds something in his basement that's so scary. He has set up multiple cameras in his basement to try and capture it on camera. All he finds is this extra creepy layer of skin dried up against the wall. Listening to the sound the skin makes when touched is enough to make me want to peel out of my own. What in the world? He says it's juvenile, and I'd say that's a safe bet since it can't be finished growing if it is still shedding its skin from time to time. Ladies and gentlemen, that right there 
is a big snake. And it's somewhere in my basement. You can see where the snake used the grooves between two stones to rub off its old skin and emerge even bigger than before. A Google search reveals snakes will come into the basement through basement cracks and even through drains if you have any plumbing hooked up down there. Once they're in, the only way to get them to leave is to remove them by hand or call for help. The description says it's over 3 feet long. Assuming he measured accurately, I'd say it's time to leave this one up to the pros. Outside of their apartment, a husband and wife capture a strange reflection in the window that is too curious to ignore. They grab an infrared camera, and this mysterious unexplained video is what they've caught on tape. At the very beginning of this video, three seconds in to be precise, a full zoom does appear to have caught a possibly real ghost sighting on video in greater detail. You can discern a tuft of her white hair, the folds of her robe, her older looking face, and what direction she is facing. Theirs. As soon as they turn on the lights for a better look, the figure is gone. That was bizarre. Same one Same window. Same window and there's nothing there now, no matter what I do. Bizarre. And when he switches the camera back into infrared mode, the mode he first detected the spirit with, it does not return. There's infrared. Right there on that curve. I know it. I know it right on that side. It's back to normal. There's just nothing there. It's almost as if nothing was ever there to begin with, and yet the paranormal evidence caught on camera proves at one point there was. Maybe they were holding something up to the glass to make it reflect this image and took it away, though I don't know what that something would be. From voices to semi-transparent figures, baby monitors have been known to throw off all types of creepy vibes. This is amongst the creepiest. Posted to the ghost subreddit, the OP writes, I'm 96% sure we caught a ghost on camera, pulling on my almost two-year-old son's leg while he was sleeping in his crib. The scary video shows the baby lying face down in his crib, both of his legs tucked near the bars. At first, the baby's left leg looks like it's being repeatedly pulled toward and even through the bars, but this could just be the baby himself sticking his feet there. But then all of a sudden, the baby's leg is lifted upwards, beyond the scope of ordinary baby abilities. It folds and is even bent at the knee and pulled backward. The leg is then extended out, then yanked behind its other leg and pulled between the bars. It's pulled upwards and back again, bent at the knee. This is done repeatedly until the leg is yanked so far backward that it seems to wake the baby up. He throws his head back and then pulls both legs beneath him. All the while, a strange white orb roams across the screen, floating above him. Some in the comments even say it seems to move in sync with the pulling of the leg. Most Redditors are terrified in the comments. Others think the ghost may have been trying to flip the baby over. So he wasn't sleeping on his stomach. But myself and nearly everyone agrees with Redditor Malin who writes, Straight up the most convincing ghost video I've ever seen. While exploring a military bunker in Britain, these ghost hunters may have made contact with the past on. Published by Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations in November of 2021, this investigation turns up frights galore. As the pair first tries to communicate with the spirits, something is lurking behind them. Was that hard on you and heard that? So did I. They then hear scraping footsteps and deep breathing. I can hear tapping, scraping. They hear noises behind and in front of them. There's noise coming from down behind us. Behind me. Again, I heard noise, but this time it was from in front of me.
While they continue to try and communicate, the cameraman notices something moving at the end of the tunnel and zooming in captures what he believes to be a figure in the doorway. Later, they've also captured the partial apparition of what they think is a female phantom positioned behind a GoPro set up in another room. Did these investigators indeed capture some true paranormal entities? Maybe the souls of the soldiers who lost their lives in this bunker never left. There are mysterious happenings that can be explained, and others to which there is no answer. Guess which one this mystery is? Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by EBB Puzzleheaded, and originally published to YouTube by Daniel Robb. In May of 2020, these screams in the Texan night sky are sure to set your hair on end. In the clip, the uploader explains that there's a sound in the distance screaming that seems to be coming from the sky, and you can regularly hear the eerie screech off and on for nearly 8 minutes. What is that bizarre sound? The uploader Daniel Robb says this happened between 8.30 and 9.30 p.m., and that it sounded like a banshee followed by several voices whooping. He says the sound filled the entire night sky. Others in the comments agree that it's demonic or banshee-esque, citing the end of times. Redditor I have no purpose in life notes that the screams occur, alongside the lightning strikes and wonders if they might be interconnected. I guess we may never know the actual answer. Sometimes when you're looking for the past on, you find the living. Published by HD Adam in February of 2022, this paranormal crew faces off with a very angry, alive dude. While exploring what they think is an abandoned building, they first see this strange image reflected in a window. It looks like an angry face, but are we just imagining that? <laughs> A minute later, the face remains. One of the crew goes to check an adjacent door. After finding it locked, he turns away. A moment later, something bangs loudly on the door. Continuing on, they open the door to another room and find this mysterious man sitting in the darkness. The man seems angry. He stands up and starts yelling at them. He tells the crew to get out of his house, and they are soon pushed out with force. Next time, they'd better be sure no one's home. This Irish family was testing out their new baby monitor when they monitored something incredibly alarming. Published by the Hidden Underbelly 2.0 in October of 2018, the footage shows Alan Smith watching the monitor in another room as his wife plays with the baby in its crib. When the man pans up to see his wife's face, however, he captures something unexpected. Over her shoulder in the connecting bathroom, a creepy face peers around the corner before vanishing completely. The man hurries upstairs, shouting at his wife that he saw something behind her. Why you can? Almost like, let me check if I can um, get your face. Say hello, Lisa. What the f? Lisa! Who's behind you? Is there actually anyone behind you? Seriously. There is, of course, no one in the bathroom. So to whom does this creepy face belong? Is this a cryptoid? A glitch? Or just another scary video going viral on social media? Would you take something that turned you into a zombie? Please don't do it because it's a horrible idea. In October of 2017, a number of sightings were reported in Brazil, in which humans were behaving monstrously, with some running their heads into windshields, and others flailing their arms and screaming nonsense as if they were possessed. This video clip shows what a nightmare this can be. Morreu. 
He pounds the windshield as well before taking a running start at it with his head. With his arms outstretched, the boy screams into the ethers while one guy outside holds an arm out, seemingly trying to calm him. The boy continues to scream in place before trying to smash his way into the bus again. This goes on for several minutes. Whatever this man has taken to be acting this way, just remember, it's never a good idea to do the same. Ring doorbells seem to capture more than you were bargaining for. Posted to the Ghosts subreddit by Yakuza Disco Man. This redditor is wondering if what he's caught on his ring doorbell is paranormal. The security camera shows a wide shot of a street outside his home with several parked cars along it. Nothing unusual that is, until this ghostly figure streams past in the darkness. The semi-transparent phantom appears like he's trailing fog. Is this a spirit on a nighttime stroll? Redditor Noobvin reigns on our ghost hunting parade writing. This is a camera glitch due to low lighting, and the way the ring camera saves space with video and images, it's looking for pixel changes, and with low light, it is only detecting a fraction of the actual image, which makes the image appear transparent, noting that it's not really a glitch per se, but rather the design of the camera in order to reduce high bandwidth. Noobvin is pretty sure it's not a ghost. Others suggested that the Redditor reenact the event under these same conditions to see if he can replicate this. Let's hope he does. Better safe than sorry. Nevertheless, I genuinely think this footage is creepy. It's 2.10 AM on September of 2015. This individual is fast asleep in their bed, as anyone might expect to be at such a late hour. Posted to YouTube by the Gender Uwo in April of 2019. The video shows a man tossing and turning in his sleep, normal restlessness. At one point, he pulls the covers up over his head. A short while later, he turns onto his side. All normal, but what's abnormal is the body shape that appears to be sleeping next to him. After rolling to his side, the man notices the unwelcome company under the covers. He starts feeling what looks to be a solid form beside him. Appearing startled, he gets out from under the covers, patting the blanket up and down, before pulling it clean off his bed. As you likely suspected, there is nothing beneath it. Further footage in the man's apartment shows a strange blurred shadow figure cross from a hallway to another room in the home. The same sort of shadow figure is seen again in the footage from another hallway in the apartment. What do you think? Is it time to move? Probably should, just in case. Don't know about you, but I'd do whatever was in my power to avoid sharing my bed with an unwelcome ghost. This clip shows a normal psychedelic filter, the electric color surrounding the girl in frame. She then turns her camera to span the room. The filter follows for a moment before becoming absent from the shot, as the room is empty. Or is it? The person detecting filter appears to detect someone in the chair sitting opposite. No one is there, and yet the silhouette of a human form starts to appear in the shot in shocking black and white. It seems to be seated in the chair. The girl turns the filter back to her face, and the shocking figure follows, blending into the psychedelic filter colors around her again. Redditor HydraWrench97 is both tentative and jumping to the paranormal and rightly creeped out. She writes, Usually these Snapchat filter ghost clips are glitching and basically the camera falling for pareidolia. But this one is weird. Might just be the spookiest glitch ever. But it is very weird and would scare me if that was my living room. Maybe it sees something we don't. YouTuber Moxley's Crazy Adventures posted this haunted graveyard video in November of 2019 writing, Welcome back to my first haunted graveyard. I went here to see what I could capture if anything at all. What I did capture was insane. Alright, you reeled us in. Let's just hope you deliver. And Moxley does deliver. He captures a dark shadow-like figure gliding across the backdrop of a lit brick wall. He shouts out to it, but it doesn't respond. What the f is that? Hello? He later hears heavy footsteps nearby. They're clearly heard in the leaves around him. 
In the comments, YouTuber Spooky Spectre notes that this thing wasn't moving like a human being, nor did the brush move as it passed by. It also didn't respond when being called out to, or make noise or footsteps. Do you agree with Spooky Spectre? Did this freak you out? If not, then you're one brave cookie. Chris Moon is a paranormal expert who travels around the country, demonstrating the metaphysical properties of the spirit world. This time, he is using a spirit box at the Cornell College in Iowa, when suddenly a student's jewelry does something I've never seen before. Can we get oh <laughs> Relax, everybody, don't crowd her, please. Why? We get it, we're filming, it's okay. Her necklace starts going berserk as the spirit apparently tries to get her attention. She then hears a familiar voice come across the spirit box and immediately bursts into tears. The voice talking to her, she believes, was an old volleyball coach who passed away. I just wanted me to tell you hi. <laughs> <laughs> he misses you so much. Chris Moon says awe and points to the box when he hears it. This video certainly captured some convincing evidence of the spirit world that Chris is trying to prove exists. This creepy area is reputed to be haunted by a young man whose life was ended by a passing train nearby. Are we about to see his apparition? Posted by Ghost Videos, this scary video was captured outside of the village of Stansteed Mountain Fitchhead in the UK. The murky woodland path is mysterious enough, with its bare trees, black river, and heavy fog. And then this mysterious figure turns the mystery up a notch. A semi-transparent shape that's faintly human-like appears near the river bank. A close-up of the figure shows it swiftly moving in and out of view vanishing as quickly as it appeared. Some in the comments think this looks completely original. Others are wondering if the cameraman felt a paranormal presence in the moment. If not paranormal in nature, what could this be? A security guard is walking up a stairwell on his overnight shift when he hears this. Posted to TikTok, Simon Lockhart shines his flashlight on the floors below and above and can't tell from which direction the footsteps are coming, but then they come running at him. Oh my what the f what the f Bro. Bro. If your heart just jumped into your throat, you're not alone. Some in the comments say they see a face in the door. When he looks up, do you see it? Is this what is chasing him? Oh my, what the f what the f A YouTuber named Frostbitten looks out his window one evening and sees what he thinks is Slenderman peering up at him from below. You can see it much better when he moves away from the screen door. Oh crap. Oh crap. I do see what he's talking about, and so do some other viewers in the comments section. I can't tell for sure, but it looks like something with a pale head and long arms might be looking up at him. I can't really make out if it's wearing a suit or standing behind the tree. Then again, maybe this human-like shape is simply light reflecting off of the woods. Let me know if you can see what Frostbitten is talking about, and if you agree with him or not. In some parts of the world, it's customary to never put your shoes on in a hurry. Here's why. How are you doing, Angel? A large snake has coiled up in the toe of his shoe and refuses to get out. If he had put it on without looking, then the snake would have no doubt defended itself. He says that this is a non-venomous juvenile rat snake, and I wanted to know if this is an accurate description. 
I see no bright markings, so I would say he's at least right about the non-venomous part. He gets it out using a hook they keep around just for this purpose and does not seem too worried about it, but as far as I'm concerned, any snake in my shoe should be considered highly dangerous. After watching this creepy video, I might start checking my shoes each time before I put them on. A sports bike enthusiast named 6'4 Honda has a YouTube channel full of adventures taken on the open road. Today, he is riding down the shoulder lane through heavy traffic, which puts 6'4 Honda on edge, and for good reason, as you'll see. Be careful on this one. Watch out for your mirrors. Literally two seconds after warning to be careful, a black pickup truck decides to make a U-turn to get out of the traffic. What the f*** is backing up? I shouldn't be doing this. Six foot four Honda quickly accelerates and barely manages to get out of the way in time. He doesn't even waste his energy confronting the driver and simply continues going down the road, glad to still be in one piece. Based on his reaction, I would say this is not the first time something like this has happened to him, and sadly, it probably won't be the last. BA is a rapper from Mexico with a fairly popular YouTube channel. Recently, he admitted to the police that he has been working for the New Generation Cartel, which is basically the Mexican Mafia. He has taken at least three people's lives and even dissolved them in vats of acid. Now police are working hard analyzing his music videos to determine if he has ever confessed to anything else in one of his songs. After all, anyone in the video could be an accomplice and every lyric or camera shot could be another potential piece of evidence. I watched a lot of his videos for more clues, and the only thing I noticed was how one setting in particular would repeatedly come up. It's always this small wooded area that's by some train tracks. It could just be my imagination, but I can't help but wonder if maybe a fourth body would be found here if police were able to do some investigating in this area. This building is teeming with poltergeists, and YouTuber Han Kardashler is about to face off with them. They throw the first punch as soon as he enters, and they don't let up. They continue as he moves around the building. But he doesn't leave until they become more aggressive. What do you think? Would you stick around in here? I think there aren't many worse places to be. This drone footage was taken somewhere deep in the Salt Fork Park in Ohio. The video starts out ordinarily enough, but then sometime around the five minute mark, you might be able to see something hiding in the thickets. Watch the left side of your screen closely as the drone starts to land and pay close attention because it happens pretty fast. Many people claim they can see a large creature stop and look up as the drone passes by. Some even claim that this is a Bigfoot sighting in broad daylight. I do see what they are talking about, but I personally don't see any movement, and I think it could possibly be a tree. Let me know if you see it and if you agree. A YouTuber in India named Angkor Kashyap Vlogs claims to have filmed real paranormal evidence. A spooky ghost caught on tape while driving around late at night. A person on a bike is up ahead. They pull up to him and what happens next is terrifying. The narrow, unlit bridge must have claimed a life or two, because the man on the bike is suddenly no more, as in gone, vanished. He expects to pass him by, but goes through him instead. Tell me if you can see any jump cuts where he paused the camera to make it look like the man disappeared. It seems like one continuous shot, and if so, then that's just plain creepy. You're never alone on an amusement park ride. This phantom will make sure of it. Published to YouTube by Eli Zix in September 2015, the following footage will have you looking twice. 
The clip shows three women and a man riding the pirate ship at an amusement park, swinging back and forth at the beginning of the clip. There are clearly three women there, but as the video ends, the third woman on the end has completely vanished. Where did she go? Did she fall off the ride? Disappear somehow? Or was she ever really there at all? Some in the comments claim that this girl passed away on this ride two years prior to when this video was filmed. This is all hearsay, but who knows? The truth has to be out there somewhere. Ready to hear one of the most bone-crunching sounds in the world? This was captured at the Australian Reptile Park. The bone crunching noise gives me the chills beyond belief. According to the BBC, saltwater crocodiles take the lives of an estimated 1,000 people per year, many more than sharks do. Would you want to run into one of these monsters? Me neither. A small dog barks its head off at the door while a second one sits quietly like nothing is wrong. After barking for seven seconds, the dog tracks an invisible figure with its head, and then piano music plays, followed by a faraway voice soothingly saying the word deer. According to the uploader, they did not hear this piano music or the voice until they watched this video. In fact, the only reason they started recording in the first place was because one dog was barking and not the other. Nobody else was in the house, and this was just before 3 a.m. A YouTuber named Shadow the Wolf is with his friend when they see a complete stranger walking up to them without saying a word. Oh my god. He's going closer. Oh my god. Oh Shut my the god. window. They quickly run upstairs and lock the door as the silent figure moves closer. I have little doubt that this video is real, because they are just some kids and this is clearly a full grown man. They realize he is trying to get in through the garage and quickly lock the basement door. I'm not sure if this is some random person or a fan, but with over 19,000 subscribers, I think it's possible that this could have been one of them. Humanoids apparently come in all different sizes. The one in this video is mistakenly labeled as a goblin, though it looks completely human except for its height. The supposed goblin in this video is shorter than one brick tall. It peeks around from behind a wall and quickly disappears once it sees the camera. The camera follows it to the other side of the wall and finds a tiny hole that the humanoid must have escaped into. If it wasn't for the video, the supposed goblin would not have left a trace behind. Two friends are creeping around a forest in Granada, Spain when they stumble upon something they were never meant to see. <laughs> The humanoid is likely hunched over its prey as the two approach. They accidentally make a noise and the humanoid's keen ears detect them instantly. It looks up from his meal, ready to attack. You can see that this creature is thin and bony. It looks skinny and sunken in, fast with a high metabolism. Its reaction time seems way too quick for any ordinary person. A father and son are bonding outdoors when they make a discovery in a puddle. That's so bizarre they have to bring it home and make a video of what they've caught on camera. So I kind of looked at the little creatures that were in there and at my first glance they're round and have a tail just like a tadpole. The mysterious creatures have a long tail and two eyes that are especially visible. At 1 minute and 22 seconds, baby horseshoe crabs were my guess, but when I googled a picture it looked different. So what do you think they are? Ken1082 catches what he claims is a mysterious light that's not part of a storm. It almost has to be a storm, but a user named Combat points out a strange and creepy figure standing in the doorway when the lightning flashes. The lights flicker on and off in the room to reveal a person who was apparently standing there the whole time. Let me know if you see them and what you think it was. This video was posted on the Chills Narrator subreddit, so I wanted to know what you make of it. A TikToker named Rosie43201 says that this curtain started moving by itself while she was all alone. 
Since her cats are not close by and the air conditioner isn't on, the only explanation I have is that there's somehow a draft coming in through the window. If that's not the case, then I have no idea what could be moving this and if she doesn't feel alone like she claims, then I'd say there's a strong chance that this is a real ghost. This video captures a total stranger on a bridge waving hello to rush hour traffic in a full clown outfit. A stranger waving to no one in particular is creepy enough, but take a look at its arm. Maybe it's just the angle, but the arm seems way too long and thin to belong to any person. Slow it down at the 15 second mark, and you can see the forearm alone looks to be the same length as a normal person's entire arm. A real demon sighting is caught on camera according to an uploader named Esoteric Boy, a dark shadow haunting his room. He lightens the photo to reveal a tall, mysterious figure with horns. Strangest of all, the alleged demon has a goat-like face and no reflection in the mirror, considering he has editing software. I think this could possibly be photoshopped, but if not, then it's time never to go into the room again. Watch how this ghost is working out. It's moving by itself, just like somebody sitting there. This outdoor workout station is moving all by itself, or so it seems. I think someone could be moving it with wires off camera. At the beginning, he shows this zoomed in shot, but it's vertical, so there is plenty we can't see. I'm not saying this video isn't real, I'm just saying I would be more convinced if he showed the entire street to prove that no one else was around. Alberto Del Arco is a paranormal investigator based out of Mexico, another veteran of YouTube Paranormal Channel. He has been posting investigations since 2009 and has amassed over 2 million subscribers and nearly 256 million views. In his latest video, he and his team visited an abandoned school almost completely reclaimed by the surrounding woods. Encounters begin rather quickly upon their entry as they hear the voice of a girl say a quee. This roughly translates to in here. Could the spirit of a former student be leading them to her location? Chillingly enough, the apparition of a little girl briefly appeared in front of Arco as the ghost was speaking, then disappears as the flashlight is pointed at her. Could this be the same ghost who was speaking? The team walks into the room where the apparition appeared and finds several desks, shelves, and even old school books in poor condition. As they continue to search the room, another figure is seen moving silently past a window to Arco's left. It is hard to see on its own, but the crew thankfully enhanced the image in editing. The figure appears humanoid, albeit cloudy and disfigured. A minute later, Arco captures what appears to be an orb briefly appearing on camera moving from right to left. Wow. As the team moves to another part of the building, faint laughs can be heard coming from the woods. They all hear it and pause. Hey, soy algo atrás allá. Considering they are in a wooded area, the possibility of some sort of wild animal cannot be forgotten, but considering all the activity they have gotten already, could this be a spirit laughing at them from the woods? The second possibility seems more likely when the team hears a man scream soon after. This time, the sound is clear and resembles a grown man rather than an animal. It is also louder than the laugh, as if it is closer to their position as they are about to enter a bathroom. The team is startled back by a dog barking. While unseen, it is close to where they are. They walk around to see if they can find where the barks are coming from, but find no such luck. However, it is likely just a stray dog who has made the derelict building its home and is trying to protect themselves, not wanting to go up against the dog. The team ventures away from the building and into the woods. They soon stumble upon a second structure. As they enter, more dogs still barking from inside, so they proceed with caution. Over the barks, Arco hears what sounds like a woman crying. <coughs> the 
This is terrifying for anyone who knows the legend of La Llorona from Mexican folklore. It is now Arco asking the crew to turn off their lights to look. Dog howls can be heard resembling the crying, but a distinct woman's cry can also be heard if listened closely. As the investigation comes to a close, Arco leaves a static night camera at the location overnight and captures an apparition floating in the room above some chairs and desks. Were all of these encounters related to one another? Or did they happen to be lucky to find multiple different entities at once? What would you do if a poltergeist became more and more aggressive? Published by D-Dog Michael in January of 2022, this scary video follows this paranormal explorer through an abandoned building. Michael first encounters some unsettling sounds like bottles trembling. He thinks it's just the wind at first, but the sound becomes louder and more aggressive. This makes him run back downstairs. As they continue to explore, a window panel slides open, and later he hears regular banging noises in the hallway. When he goes to investigate, the banging noises get louder and more frequent. As he approaches a door, he asks the spirit if he can go in and look around, but the spirit seems to answer in the negative. <laughs> He runs off but returns to the same door, and as he's reaching toward the knob, he hears something inside. Finally, inside the room, there doesn't appear to be anyone around, but he hears another sound. Out in the hallway again, he reaches for a second door, and a loud noise is heard behind him. Later, he is in a dark bathroom when chaos again breaks out behind him. He continues into a bedroom, and then he sees this shape in the window. Michael decides it's time to leave this place before whatever haunts it won't let him go. Thank you so much for getting me to 40,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Can you help me reach 50,000 subscribers? Thank you.